Fallout 4 and of course to Dark Horde Gaming and I am Dark Horde and this is Gaming. And I want to apologize because you guys missed that whole boss fight in here. I took out that guy. So I had to stop talking to him when I realized Told you it'd be worth it. that didn't work. Let's just say you've got my attention. Good. Then listen up. I've got a lot to say. There are three raider gangs that run the show at Nuka World. The Disciples, the Operators, and the Pack. And yeah, if the names didn't give it away, these ain't your typical raiders. These morons don't exactly play nice with each other. Thanks to Coulter, this place is a powder keg just waiting to blow sky high. One wrong move. And we're going to have a bloodbath on our hands. I think you have what it takes to turn things around and keep these gangs from tearing each other apart. Maybe. Why me? I'm sure you're better suited for the job. We'll get into that later. Now, I'm sure you got a lot of questions, but this ain't the place. Meet me at the Overbosses, your new quarters, the restaurant on top of good old Fizz Top Mountain. We can talk there. Just let me get that door for you. There. Some steps. You gotta be real crazy or real tough to survive out of here. At least that's what worked for me. Hey. What do you need? Hey, Hancock. Got something for me? That was all I had. Fine by me. Hey! Got my attack. There we go. There we go.
sleeping or were you not? Yes, I was sleeping, okay? It's what people do when they're exhausted. Ever since you guys took over, you've been working us around the clock. What do you expect us to do? We expect you to show a little appreciation. We make sure you've got enough to eat and drink. We provide security. Without us, you'd be food for the bloodworms. You can either do your job and earn your keep, or we can throw your ass outside the park. Or maybe you think you're better off out there, alone and unarmed. No! No, I'll, um, I'll get back to work. That's better. I thought about trying my hand at the gauntlet just to see if I could do it. <laughs> Wasted time now. No one's stopping your performance. Damn right. So let me get this straight. Some scaver makes it through the gauntlet, takes out the boss, and now we're all supposed to follow him? How does that work? All I know is Gage was in the mountain the other day and he had You haven't seen anything that's um out of the ordinary around here, have you? Maybe something Nisha really only has one rule around I here. We told you don't get rest. Close to something good. I can feel it. Welcome home, boss. The digs are yours now. I hope you like the look. Coulter had some peculiar tastes. But this view is something, huh? Everything you see here is under your control now that you're in charge. Yeah, I still don't get it. Why put me in charge? You may have noticed that our former overboss, Coulter, was a fucking asshole. And that's me being nice. Ended up being poisoned for this whole operation. The way I see it, surviving the gauntlet means you've got what it takes. Or at least the potential. For a good while now, we've needed someone who can get shit done. Make real progress. I can get shit done. I sure do like the sound of that. I thought you might. Look, I'll be honest with you. This operation needs someone to step in and take the reins. Sure as hell ain't gonna be me. Leading outright ain't my style. And there's already some blaming me for supporting Coulter all this time. My talents are best put to use helping a new overboss get all this shit under control. You get me? I hear you, Gage. Good. I know I'm throwing a lot at you all at once here. Let's take a step back and talk big picture, okay? Nuka World. Shit. This was the dream. Huge. Built like a goddamn fortress. You run this, world is yours. We had a good head start on it. Though a lot of work went into getting the disciples, the operators, and the pack to work together. But we got here. About a year ago, we pushed in through the front gate. Take over Nuka Town. Get these traitors under our thumb. And then, well, Coulter got lazy. He was content to sit on his ass. Never bothered putting in the effort to finish taking over the park. The gangs got restless and started pissing each other off. It was... is... a real mess. What kind of mess am I walking into here? It was little shit at first. Heated tempers, arguments, the occasional shooting. Got worse over time, though. The gang started staking out as much territory as they could. All being on top of each other like this. Started looking for excuses to turn on each other. If something ain't done soon to settle things down, it's gonna reach a point there ain't no coming back from. 
I can fix this. I can make this work. Yeah? Man, I sure hope so. Look, I know these gangs. Been working with them or against them for years now. I'll help you, okay? Walk you through everything. First thing you gotta do is get the gangs behind you. Without them supporting you, you're not getting shit done. You don't have to trust them. Hell, you don't even have to like them. But you need them to respect you enough to follow you. Have any advice for how I should go about it? Yeah, all right. The disciples like violence. The bloodier, the better. Tell them they'll get plenty of it. The operators are in it mostly for the money. They get promised caps, they'll listen to you. The pack, hell, I don't know. They follow whoever they think is the strongest. Show some teeth, I guess. Don't worry. Everybody likes me. Yeah, I wouldn't count on that. Look, technically, you're already the new overboss, right? That's like half the work done right there. Just meet the leaders. Talk with them. Flex your muscles a little. Show them you mean business. Okay, let's do this. All right. That's what I'm talking about. You just need to show them you're the right man for the job. I'll be here if you need me. You are the overboss after all. Just don't screw this up. You could break. I need to go fix some shit. and shit. Keep an eye out.
I do have a level up. Where is science? black Hancock. A little something to liven up the day. I need you to get out of your power armor. Done. I must apologize for the obvious I'm currently emitting. A consequence of being mechanical in nature. you got. There's no sport to spill in blood if the person ain't earned it. Lucky for us, the Commonwealth provides.
wonder how long my systems will endure these rugged conditions. Heads up. Yeah? That's out of my reach, brother. Over here. Good as done. Can't get to that. Move here. Not seeing a way to get there. Here. I can do that. It's astounding how much we still have to discover out here. From where I'm standing, I Head over there. there. Can't get to that. Now that looks good on you. Look alive. I take requests. That's out of my reach, brother. Go there. Not seeing a way to get there. there. From where I'm standing, I ain't Move getting out. there. Can't get to that. Standing, I ain't getting there. Over there. That's out of my reach, brother. Get into position. Not seeing a way to get there. Go. Not seeing a way to get there. Easy. Can't get to that. Over here. That's out of my reach, brother. Move here. From where I'm standing, I ain't getting there. Alive. Shoot, can't get to that. Here. From where I'm standing, I ain't getting there. Give me a laser rifle and my power armor, and I'll take That's on the out road. of my reach, brother. Head over there. Not seeing a way to get there. Come on. I'm standing, I ain't getting there. Can't get to that. That's out of my reach, brother. Don't worry, my ocular sensors are well suited for travel at night. Come on. You're being a dick. Hey. I can do that. Not seeing a way to get there. So you got a ride of choice? I'm usually a mentat school myself. It makes me feel intellectual. Hey. What do you need? Can't get to that. 
Go there. Not seeing a way to get there. That's out Oh, get it. Go over. Move here. Here. From where I'm standing, I ain't getting there. The Nuka World. So I guess I have to be within the parameters of the Nuka world, not on the outskirts, because there's wall. Word in. 
is super mutant. Got four good hours of sleep last night. Harvey. Still trying hey. to build. Just the wanted to say, games. no hard feelings. Feel. Anything left? All right. How good is this source of yours? It's good, Shank. You were in on this? Yeah. And I'd like Pretty to keep much. it that way. But it's not what yeah. you think. I mean, Learn it's. This. It's Anything just I didn't really have any choice in the matter. Shank, you'll be the first to know. You lied to me. I know, and I'm sorry. But if you ever cared about anyone, you'd do the same thing. I don't have any family. Living family. I lost them when Coulter and his gangs took this place from us. Now, these traitors are all I have left. They're my family now. Every time Coulter sent me out to lure people into the gauntlet, I didn't have a choice. I had to do it or he'd kill someone I cared about. I'm just sorry you had to get caught up in all this. It's all right, Harvey. I understand. Good to hear, boss. Never figured I'd find myself in this situation before. I thought for sure I'd be a goner. Well, better get back to it. Welcome to the nest, boss. We was wondering when you'd make it down here. If you're wearing a collar, it's because you asked for it. Ain't no one's a slave that don't want to be. You a sheep or a wolf? Because the pack only runs with wolves. Oh, there's a whole shit ton of different new color flavors. I wonder if that's just because of the expansion. Or something, you said we ain't allowed to kill any of them. So tell me, did you have to wait in a long line to see me? No, I walked right up here. Exactly. Most can handle their own shit without bothering me about it. Do you need help finding your place here? No, no, I can handle it. There's plenty of collars and pillows if you can't. Gotta take these if you want to catch. Now that I get a closer look at you, not sure I'm buying this new overboss thing. You gonna be a problem I need to solve? Slow down there, boss man. We're just getting to know each other. Name's Mason, the Pax Alpha. This here's our side of town. You might be overboss for now. But I'm the boss of the pack, and it's gonna stay that way. Long as you don't go forgetting that, we're gonna be fine. Let's work together, Mason. Yeah, I'm not interested in ruining your gig. If that ain't a lie, then things might end up all right between us. Look, it ain't like anyone's broke up about Coulter. Just figured on his replacement being, well, different. But Gage says you're the boss now, so you're the boss. You don't want to be overboss? Me? Overboss? Nah. Seems to be a short-lived position. Coulter was weak. Why'd you follow him at all? Been wondering that ourselves. Don't get me wrong, Coulter was definitely overboss. Not a man to mess with. And things were good in the beginning. Real good. But that was a year ago. Then Coulter went soft. Wanted to take stock in what we achieved. I'm listening. 
Sure, this place beats living in the shitholes we had out there. But it ain't the palace of cats we signed up for. Ain't none of us happy, not even the disciples. And they're normally a chipper bunch, so long as they're drenched in blood. What are you Things wearing? were going to hell fast, but Gage put the brakes on that. He got us together, and promised he'd find someone to deal with Colton. So, what's the real story behind Gage and Coulter? Hey, I only know what I've heard. Story is that Gage talked Coulter into becoming overboss. And he got you in here, didn't he? Maybe he likes people owing him. Maybe it lets him get things done without getting dirt on his hands. After Coulter went soft, Gage got us behind closed doors and promised he'd get someone to off Coulter. And you did just that. Might have been the whole point of the gauntlet all along. I'm not Coulter, so that better not happen to me. Yeah, sure, boss. I get it. I do. We're totally willing to give you a chance. We are. Look, let's cut to the chase. You gonna do right by the pack? I intend to treat all the gangs equally. Ain't no two things in this world that's truly equal, boss. Everything has its place. One gang is gonna end up on top, and one on the bottom. It's a simple law of nature. One last thing before I let you go. There's always work to do around here, keeping the zoo in order. If you're ever able to lend a hand, drop by. Loyalty's a two-way street. And unfortunately, that is all the time we have for this episode. If you liked the video, feel free to drop a like. Comment down below, I'd love to hear from you guys. And feel free to subscribe if you haven't. And as always, I will see you guys in the next video. Peace out.